Hello my loves, welcome back to another episode. So today is a little bit of a storytelling time and I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my journey of giving less fucks in business and in life and how that actually allowed me to open up to so much more abundance and impact and magic and beauty and joy and freedom. I could go on and on about the outcome and the results of giving less fucks in general. But I want to share with you a little bit about my story and encourage you to look at your own fuck list and what you are giving your energy to and what you feel like no longer serves you, where you feel like you're editing yourself, filtering yourself for the comfort of others and where you feel like if you just gave less fucks would open up this whole channel of abundance to flow to you in business and life. So give you a little bit of background. My journey growing up, I was the shy, introverted highly sensitive, highly empathic child. I was a sponge to other people's emotions. I would feel everybody else's energies. I was super nervous and always wanted to fit in, right? So I I remember distinctly so many years of trying to fit in, trying to seek approval or validation from anyone but myself, like literally anybody but myself, I would look for validation from. I would try to fit in with kids at school. I would try to seek validation that I was worthy from my parents or my grandparents or whatever it was from bosses when I grew up. It kept going, right? So this cycle that I created when I was little of seeking approval, seeking my worth or validation from other people externally to me, that cycle continued through my life. And when I started my business about five years ago now, The first year, if not two years, were a real struggle for me because I was still in this pattern of seeking approval, seeking validation, seeking my worth from my clients, from from my community, from other people, anyone but me. (laughs) So hands up if you feel the same. If that is happening for you, totally hear you because I've been there and it created so much scarcity for me in my business. This idea that I had to edit myself or filter myself to fit in or that my validation of how worthy I was came from other people. Now I even say that it just sounds so crazy that I even thought that at one stage, but this is how I was conditioned, right? So anything like this, it's like, let's not judge ourselves, but just accept that this is how we were conditioned bring love to the fact that, okay, this is what how we were raised or what kind of programming we have. And from that space, you get to take your power back. And so I went on this big journey and I call it my taking my power back journey, <laughs> giving less fucks. And what that looked like for me was moving away from needing to seek approval from other people and instead approving myself. No longer seeking validation from others, but validating myself, naming and claiming what I truly desired, naming and claiming that I was an expert in my field, naming and claiming that I was confident enough to speak on video, to record a podcast, whatever it might be that I was scared of doing before, naming and claiming that I could, um, you know, raise my prices and charge what I believed I was worth. Naming and claiming so many different things in my life. And ultimately that came from giving less fucks, right? Like giving less fucks about what people thought. Because if you are like how I was and you find like you're editing yourself or you're filtering your message, like you're not truly showing up as you, right? Like there is some sort of a mask being put on in the way that you're showing up right now online, in business, even outside of business. If you feel like that's happening to you, I hear you. I feel you because I was that person, but I want you to know that you're giving so many fucks to all these things that aren't relevant. And by doing that, your power is going out here. It's going external from your soul. You're pushing it out. You're seeking validation from others. You're seeking approval. When we do that, we are literally saying to our subconscious, I'm not worthy of what I desire. Okay. I'm not worthy of what I desire. And therefore, in that space where you're giving so many fucks to all these things that are just not relevant, that are not necessary, when you're giving your energy to all those things, you are really creating this resistance to what you truly desire to manifest, right? That abundance is not flowing to you. That impact that you desire in your business is not happening because your power is not within. It's external. And one thing that I 
want to talk on today is just shifting away from being out here outside of you taking your power back and my journey as I said before with taking my power back looked like validating myself approving myself rather than seeking approval naming and claiming what I wanted to create deciding that I was an expert in my field going all in mastering my my craft showing up as me And when I did that, when I started to name and claim what it is that I desired to be the fullest expression of me, to show up in my real authentic self online, to share my message and just speak my truth, to break the rules in how I did business. That was another thing I gave too many fucks to as well, like following the cookie cutter strategies that the marketing people tell you to do. It's all bullshit. You have to come back into what feels aligned for you. And when I did that, when I stopped giving so many fucks to what people thought of me, to what people like would say potentially if I showed up on a live stream and I spoke about this topic, what would they think? Oh my gosh. When I decided and just drew a line in the sand that I would no longer give a fuck about all of those things, I took my power back. Okay, And one of the beautiful mantras that I've been using for about 10 years in my life is I take my power back now. I take my power back now. I take my power back now. I want you to ask yourself that too. How can you take your power back? What are you giving fucks to right now that don't deserve your fucks, (laughs) that don't deserve your energy? Where are you seeking approval? Where are you seeking to validate your worth? Are you saying to yourself that I need to do this so I can prove to my parents that I can be successful? Are you saying to yourself, I need to do this so I can prove to myself that I can be successful and become a six-figure business owner or whatever it might be that you are creating right now? When you are trying to prove yourself, seek validation, seek to be worthy from someone who's going to give you this tick of worthiness out of nowhere. When you are doing that, you are giving fucks to things that are blocking your manifestations from happening. It's time to take your power back. It is time and I want you to tune in and ask yourself, what would that look like? If I were to take my power back now, today, what would that look like? What would be more real or different about the way that I show up online? How would I break the rules in the way I've been doing business? What would I no longer give my energy to? What would I no longer tolerate? If I were up until now editing myself in how I show up or filtering myself somehow, what would it look like to fully express who I am? What would it look like to raise my prices and more fully back the work that I have to give, the value, the transformation that I have to give? What would it look like to name and claim what it is that I desire to be an expert in, that I desire to be known for? What would be different? What would be different in your energetic state, in your mindset, in your actions, in how you show up? That's what I want you to tune into today, babe, because honestly, giving less fucks will transform everything, right? And now I like now that I've opened up this can of worms, I call it, of all the fucks that I used to give. Now it's like this exciting thing that just keeps happening. And it comes back to boundaries. It comes back to saying like, no, I draw a line in the sand there. I'm not available for that. I'm not available to really care what someone might think about me online if I speak my truth. All I'm available for is speaking my truth, right? I'm not available for some client that tells me that I'm too expensive. All I'm available for is knowing my value and standing in conviction and certainty in my prices, right? Knowing that the right person will not even second guess whether I'm too expensive. They'll just know they want to work with me. And that happens all the time. So giving less fucks changes everything. It opens you up to this whole new level of abundance that you never knew was possible. And I know that it can be scary. I know that it feels daunting. Like, hey, I'm the introverted, shy, highly sensitive, highly empathic kid, right? I know what it's like to feel all the feels, to feel shy, to feel nervous, to feel lacking in confidence, to feel like I can't do it, that I'm not good enough. Who am I to speak up? Who am I to share my message? Who am I to charge that much? Should I go get a normal job, right? Am I even cut out for this entrepreneur thing? I've had all those thoughts many times, but I knew that it was just my fear speaking and I witnessed it. I gave it love. I released it and I stepped back into my power. I took my power back. You might want to do an exercise right now where you grab your journal, write down all the things that you feel like you're giving fucks to that don't serve you, that feel icky, that feel like they're holding you back from the life that you truly desire and just go and cross them out. (laughs) Burn the piece of paper if you want. 
flush the paper, piece of paper. I don't care what you do with it. Be safe if you're going to burn it, obviously. I don't really care what you do with it, but just let those fucks that you're giving go. Let them go. Because from that space, you come back to your true self. From that space, you take your power back. And an empowered woman is someone that nobody else can fuck with, right? And you just come back into that space of who you are. And it's beautiful and it's magical and it's aligned and everything flows. And that's where you're meant to be, okay? That's your true state. So let's get you back there. So I want you to ask yourself, how can I take my power back today? What would that look like? Even just a small action I could take. And if you want to continue this journey, I want to let you babes know as well that I have opened the doors again to the Abundance Mecca, which is my 12-month business academy and inner circle for those high vibrational women, those purpose-filled women that just want to have it all, that want to create the business and life that they truly desire, that want to lead with impact, that want to create the money that they desire, that want to really live life with abundance on every level. We're not just about having a little bit of abundance over here. No, nope. abundance on every level, financially, spiritually, physically, energetically, emotionally, every level. That's what I'm all about. That's why they call me the abundant boss and the abundance queen, right? So if that is something that you're interested in, come and check it out at abundantboss.com forward slash abundance mecca. It's a 12 month business academy and inner circle. And the price is going up on August 1st, 2019. So if you're listening to this before August 1st, make sure you jump in. It is an all access pass to everything in my business. So this is my most high level, beautiful mastermind and group program where you just get an all access pass to everything I create. I'm really all in with the babes in the Abundance Mecca. It's a powerful community. We have weekly coaching calls. We have a beautiful Facebook group. We have masterclasses, trainings, meditations, abundance activations, everything. It is next level in there every single day. And I would love to see you in there if you're looking for that next space or step to, to upgrade you, to help you stay in this space of giving less fucks, coming back into your true step, your true self, taking your power back and manifesting the impact, the income, the influence that you desire, creating the business and life of your dreams, really going all in. And I'm there to hold that space for you and guide you in that journey. So come to AbundantBoss.com slash AbundanceMecca if you want to check that out. But ultimately today, all I want you to do is to stop giving so many fucks, my love, and start to take that power back and ask yourself, what would that look like if I took my power back today? So much love. I'll talk to you soon.